Come with me to a land far away. Hello, Pisces. I hope you're having a beautiful, blessed month of January of 2021. So let's get you the messages for January 2021. If you're new here, it's so great to have you here. Please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. If you're a returning subscriber, just know that I love you and you, I am so grateful for you. Okay. All right, guys, so I channel through music, if you don't already know that. And Pisces, I got the song Sunday Best by Surfaces. Okay, so the lyrics are, Feeling good, like I should. Went and took a walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Got that sunshine on my Sunday best. Every day can be a better day despite the challenge. All you got to do is leave it better than you found it. It's going to get difficult to stand, but hold your balance. I just say whatever because there's no way around it. Everyone falls down sometimes, but you just got to know it'll all be fine. It's okay. And then you have your lyrics, feeling good like I should, went and took a, a walk around the neighborhood, feeling blessed, never stressed, got that sunshine on my Sunday best. Okay. Some days you wake up and nothing works, you feel surrounded, gotta get your feet some gravity to get you grounded. Keep good things inside your ears just like the waves and sounded, and just say whatever because there is no way around it. Everyone falls down sometimes, but you just gotta know it'll all be fine. It's okay, it, uh, 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 it's okay. All right, so we have more. All right, and then it's, the rest is just chorus. Okay, so you can totally listen to that song if you want to. It's a pretty good song, um, but we're gonna go into this. I feel like maybe Pisces, you've been knocked down. So let's just see. We're gonna go into my witchy Sabrina learning tarot deck. Please charge this deck for the beautiful souls of Pisces. Please charge this deck for the beautiful soul of Pisces. Please charge this deck for the beautiful soul of Pisces. Guys, I am giving away one free tarot deck and two free readings like last time when I reach 500 subscribers. I'm at 385 this morning, but it does sometimes people unsubscribe and things like that. So um, yeah, when I hit 500, I'm gonna be giving away, doing another, another giveaway. I think I'm gonna do the video before I hit the 500 subscribers. That way you guys can like like and comment and all of that and then you know, once it hits it, I can be like, okay, we're doing the, the drawing now, you know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Because it was, you know, I've been waiting until I hit that, and then, boom, I do the video on, you know, comment if you are my, like, and comment, and subscribe, and leave a comment. That way, you know, I know you want to be entered. That's how I usually do it. Anyways, back to you. What does Sunday best mean for our beautiful souls of Pisces? What does Sunday best mean for our beautiful souls of Pisces? Okay, it's not this deck, hold on. It's actually my new deck that was calling to me for you, Pisces. And this is my new deck, I just got it today. I love it, it's Heart and Soul Love Oracle by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. brand new. I love getting new decks. I mean, I have a lot of decks, but like I love new ones too. They're amazing. Okay. And you already have some popping out for you, Pisces. Yeah, two. All right. One. We only have one life. Fill it with your hopes, wishes, dreams, and goals. Whatever they may be, 
We only have one heart. Fill it with love, joy, happiness, fulfillment, contentment, and gratitude. We only have one love. The only one that truly has that one beating heart of yours. Cherish it. Okay. And unwavering belief. I never gave up. I want you to know that even on the most difficult of days of missing you, I never gave up on us. I always knew that there would be a day when we'd find our way back to each other. Wow. So Pisces, you're feeling, you're feeling low. But you're also trying to see the positive in things like, you know, it could be worse, I could be dead. You know, you're trying to see the blessings in life. And that is so great, Pisces. But I feel like there's that one person who holds your heart and you know who that person is. And you just kind of avoid them. Like you don't want to believe that they are your person. Even though you believe deep down in your subconscious that someday you guys will make your way back to each other. So you're trying to find blessings and gratitude and all of that in your life. And that is amazing. But you're also trying to make puzzle pieces fit that just don't. Yeah. Yeah. You have missed chance. Okay, eight of wands. You have missed chances, lack of romance, and panic. You missed a chance with somebody, Pisces, and it really affects you more than you realize. But change is here. The time is now to start a new beginning with this person. Tell me more. Oh man, it always wants to fall on the floor. Pisces, do you stay in this situation because you're a father? For someone, I feel like you're a father and you stay in a situation that doesn't make you happy. You try to make these puzzle pieces fit where they don't because you're a father. You stay for the children, right? Or a mother. Take it however it resonates with you, okay? Um, even though you love this person, you're not with them because of this father energy, okay? Otherwise, for someone else, they're calling for you to become the emperor, to be more powerful, more stable, and definitely more grounded. Right now, you are putting up with mind games, violence, and abuse. You're letting somebody control you, Pisces, because of the children. But look, you're going to have good luck and happiness. You're going to have good news when it comes to your children. So if you're worried like I can't leave somebody because of the children or I can't fight for custody because I'm a man, that's not true, okay? You're just letting yourself live in fear. This person that controls you, you want to leave them. You want to go back to the person that owns your heart. Not owns, has, holds the key to your heart. Let's do that, okay? And you don't because of the children, but Pisces, if you wanted to, you could definitely have custody. I feel like you could have custody. Just follow your heart. Anything that's meant for you can't be kept from you, Pisces, okay? So if you're meant to be with your children, if you're meant to be with this person, you will have both. You will have both. I feel like you want to reconcile here. Please clarify for us one. Please clarify for us one. Please clarify for us one for beautiful souls of Pisces. And please stop falling on the floor. <laughs> yeah. One. Your twin flame, Pisces. Your twin flame 
is the one that holds your heart. Your twin flame is who you want to be with. But you stay in this controlling relationship because of the children. You don't want to lose your children. Of course you don't. Who wants to lose their children? But it looks to me like you could have custody if you wanted to. It looks like there is a divorce in your future. Or a breakup if you're not married, you know. Or it could be like you being away from this person could bring huge debt. Take it however it resonates for you. There's definitely multiple messages here. But I feel like you're, there's going to be a collapse of an empire. There's going to be a divorce. Maybe you're afraid of, you know, owing a lot of money. But Pisces, think of it this way. What if you had custody and your person had to pay you child support instead of you worrying about having to pay them child support? What if if this person is mean and violent to you and they're mean and violent to your kid, you got out a recorder and you just recorded it. You know, look up the laws in your state, but start, you know, and if it's okay, like here where I live, if you record it, you know, like me and my ex, I recorded all the time. I would put my phone on record and I would set it down like it was charging, but really it would be recording our entire conversation of him screaming at me and screaming at the kids. And I did that for court purposes, but I also did that so when I miss him, because I knew I would miss him, I could sit there and listen to it and be like, oh yeah, that's why I don't miss him all that much, okay? Um, so that really did help. And it also got me custody, all right? It got me the custody because they don't want to see you, the person, yelling at and abusing their children. And if you get that on recording, that's really good. But definitely look up your recording laws in your state, wherever it is you live, or your country. Because here, if you're recording someone, only one person has to give consent, and that person was me. I gave my consent that I could record him and he didn't know about it, but I gave my consent. It could be different in your area, so definitely look that up. But you could start gathering evidence. If this person is mean to you, if they abuse you, you can definitely take pictures of that. If they're mean to your kids, take pictures of every single bruise, every single scratch, every single scar that comes from that person. If that person is screaming at your children, swearing at them, being a horrible person, definitely start recording it and be like, look, this is the kind of parent they are. If you're staying because you're protecting these beautiful children of yours, you can leave. You just have to do it slowly. You have to get those recordings. You have to save up money if that's what you have to do. You know, if they're controlling about the money, like where you spend your money, the next time you go to the store, get cash back. Start your own bank account or one of those little prepaid debit card thingies and get cash back. You know, $20 cash back, what are they gonna do? Look at their receipt? If they do, be like, oh, I don't know what happened to it, I must have lost it, you know? But you could slowly start getting cash back, you know? That way you can start working your way out of this terrible relationship and you can bring your children with you, All right? Yeah, look, end of burdens, going on strike, saying no. It's time to stand up for yourself, Pisces. It's time to say no. It's time to be like, look, I am done being controlled. I am done being treated like this. I am done with this burden that you are in my life. I am leaving and I am taking my children with me. Because all you're doing is mentally torturing yourself. Maybe you worry. Maybe you're like, this shark is just going to strike me anytime. Maybe you're worried. Maybe this person says, if you leave me, I'm going to take the kids away from you. If you leave me, I'm going to take all the money. If you leave me, you're going to have to pay child support. If you leave me, I'm going to hurt the children. Something like that. If that's what they're saying, definitely get it on recording. If they are abusing you, let me tell you, as a person who's been abused, the best part, the best thing I did was getting the police involved and getting it on record that they were abusive. Because yes, 
I had to drop my walls. I had to let everybody know that our perfect marriage that looks so beautiful and wonderful in the pictures was just a mask. I had to drop that and I had to show everybody, like, look what, this is what's really going on. You know, my person got arrested because they punched me in the face and broke my eye. You know, they broke my optical bone. That was me. That was my story. But honestly, I didn't choose that. It just happened. My son who was 10 at the time, he called 911. It wasn't the first time. Okay, this guy has broke my nose before, and I stayed because I was afraid that he was going to take my kids and all other things. Anyways, so, plus I loved him, right? Love is a crappy thing sometimes. Um, so my son, who was 10, said look mom and he called the phone you know he took my phone he called 911 and then he looked at me and he said you talk or I will and that's how it happened but it was the best thing that ever happened to me my son literally saved my life because if I he hadn't done that and my husband hadn't gone to jail he would keep you know he would have done it again and again and possibly killed me I mean he almost killed me that time he literally almost killed me in front of my kids. And if you think, well, it's going to get better, and they keep saying, well, I'm never going to do it again. It's a lie. They just use that to manipulate you back. They tell you what you want to hear, just like in the beginning. It's so beautiful, and they tell you everything you want to hear, and you're so wonderful, and they just love you so much. They go back to that beautiful honeymoon phase after they do something wrong, right, after they hit you. And if you're not being hit, then just disregard this information. But the best thing you can do is if you get like a black eye or something, call the cops. Whether you're male, female, doesn't matter. Call the cops. Get it on record. Let that person go to jail. Let it be on record that, look, judge, this person hit me. And if it was in front of the children, make sure you say that. If they hit the children, you know, and the children have bruises too, make sure you show that because that is going to get you custody. And definitely record all of the yelling, all of it. You know, if they're screaming at the kids, being horrible to the kids, use it all. Write it down in a journal. So-and-so did this today. You know, write the date. Dear diary, so-and-so did this today, this, 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 all the bad stuff. Because even if you don't need it in court, you can look at it later and be like, oh, yeah, I don't miss this person. Because even though you hate this person, even though they make you feel this way, you have a trauma bond, honey, and you will miss this person because it's just going to happen. It's just like you're going to break up, you're going to get back together. You're going to break up, you're going to get back together. Because that trauma bond just is like glue. And it's just like you can only stretch so far before you come back together, right? Okay. So you do this not only for yourself, so you remember this is why I can't go back to so-and-so, but you also do it for court purposes, all right? And if there is just yelling, you know, definitely record it. Record it and be like, okay, look, Your Honor, this is so-and-so yelling at the kids. They don't care as much about you in the divorce hearing as they will about the kids, you know, but they do take that in effect. Um... Any bad text messages, save those for court purposes. You know, screenshot it, email it to yourself if you have to. Set up a fake email that your person don't know about and email it to yourself. Whatever you have to do, get your evidence. Start collecting evidence now and you will win custody no matter if you're the dad or the mom in this situation. No matter if they say, I'm going to take your children. It doesn't matter. They can lie just to keep you there. They know that your children are your biggest fear, right? That's, that's your Achilles heel, right? Your children are your biggest leverage, you know? You're going to stay because of the children. If they say, please stay, I love you, you're like, I don't give a crap. I just, I don't give a damn anymore. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. But then when they threaten the children, well, if you leave, I'm going to take the children. You're never going to see them again. It's just a manipulation tactic that they use because they know that is where you're weak, Pisces. You're weak for your children and what parent isn't, okay? Well, most parents. My first husband, yes, I've been married twice. I got married when I was 17. Stupid. Yep, I know. I didn't even love him. All right, I, I 
didn't even love him, but I married him because, and you're gonna, you're gonna think this is really stupid, but because Disney showed me that when you get married, it's happily ever after. And my parents were happy and my grandparents were happy. So I was sick of boys, you know, little boys. They weren't men yet. I want to say boys. Okay. So I was sick of the boys breaking my heart and always hurting me and rejecting me and leaving me. So I'm like, okay, this is my best friend. He would never, ever, ever hurt me. I don't find him attractive. I don't love him. You know, making love to him. I don't even want to call it that. You know, having sex with him was like my body and my soul was just screaming, no. All right, I'm serious. Like, it hurt every single time. And he was not that big. He was not well in doubt or anything like that. You can tell when your soul is pushing someone away. And definitely listen to that, guys. Don't be marrying the person that your your soul is pushing away, even though they look so great, because they really aren't. Anyways, he ended up cheating on me and stuff. but And he was actually abusive, too. Not as abusive as my second husband, but he was abusive. Um, I actually have problems in my neck, which give me headaches a lot of the time. Not too much, you know. I can take migraine medicine when I feel it coming on. But because of him pushing me into a towel bar, um, it definitely affects my headaches. It gives me headaches still. And the chiropractor told me that it was because... um, 15 years ago or whatever it was back when I seen him, he said this many years ago, uh, you had trauma to your neck and I knew what it was. So yeah, so that I have a problem from that. But anyways, he used to use, we didn't have kids yet. All right. So when I found out he was cheating on me, he told me, well, if you leave me, I'm going to take the dogs, because we had dogs, in the divorce. I'm going to take the dogs, and then I'm going to kill them. Yeah, yeah, he told me that. Mm-hmm. And I stayed, because I thought, oh, my God, not my dogs. Oh, my God, not my dogs, you know, they're, those are my babies. Can he really get those in the divorce just because he has more money than me? Is he, is he really able to take my pretty dogs? So I stayed like a moron. He couldn't have got them. He couldn't have taken my dogs. He didn't take my kid. After we had a son, we only had one. After we had a son, he would tell me, if you leave me, I'm going to take him. If you leave me, you're never going to see him again. This man was crazy, y'all. Okay? He's like literally... He used to tell me at the end of our marriage, before I escaped, he would tell me, I could kill you and get away with it because I'm bipolar. All right. You know, what do you say to that? What did I do? I called my mom and everybody else, and I'm like, hey, um, so-and-so, I'm not going to mention any names, but so-and-so said that he could kill me and get away with it. So I just want you to know, if I end up dead... Yeah, it was it was premeditated. So make sure that you that you know that, that you tell them that, you know, it wasn't like spur of the moment. So, you know, I stayed cuz I was afraid of him taking my dogs. And then I was afraid of him taking my son. So anyways, you're af- you stay because they hit you where it hurts. They punch you where it hurts there, Pisces. I wanted to say Aries for a minute. Anyways, Aries and Pisces are kind of the same. Like in Vedic, if you are Aries, you are actually Pisces in Vedic. I don't know if you know that, but either way, the signs don't matter. They are hitting you where it hurts. They're saying, you leave me, I'm taking the kids. But really, in all actuality, they are only using that because it is the last resort. It is their last bomb that they can use. Everything else is used up. They've used it all up. They have no more ammunition for their little gun, okay? So the children is the last part that they can use. You leave me, I'm taking the kids. They hit you where it hurts, but it isn't true. I don't feel like they will get custody of the kids, especially if they are like this, violence and abusing. Definitely get that on recording. They ain't going to get those kids. 
My second husband was way more abusive than my first husband. And he used to tell me, you leave me, I'm taking the kids. You leave me, you'll never see the kids again. You know, things like that. And that worked. That worked. He had more money than me. I'm taking the kids and this and that. So I slowly, it took me years, but I slowly worked my way into leaving. I got a house. I bought a house just in my own name. It is mine. He couldn't take it from me because it was mine. And it was um, a rent to own type of thing, you know, and it was only in my name. So, you know, I got my own house. He couldn't take that from me. I got all my evidence. He couldn't take the kids from me. And I told him after he left, I said, I have all this evidence. I have all those text messages. And, you know, when we were going through our custody battle, I showed my lawyer and he showed the other people um, this one text that says, you belong to me and so do they. Something like that. Like we were property, you know. And yeah, that really helped. So definitely save text messages. Save, you know, they have little apps where you can record phone calls if you need to. Record your phone calls. Save your text messages. If you have to, you know, like so-and-so sends you a text message, tell somebody of what's going on, shot it, and email it to yourself. Or screenshot it and send it to someone else before you delete it off your phone if they're going to look in your phone. All right? And definitely record. If you can't record with your phone because they're always going on your phone, then get you a little recorder and hide it in something, you know? There are ways. You will win. Look at this. You are clinging to money people issues. You are clinging to those children. That is why you stay, because you're clinging to your beautiful kids, Pisces. but you're overwhelmed and you have arguments and a financial mess or you're afraid of a financial mess. Maybe you don't have children. Maybe you, they just tell you, I'll take all the money. Sometimes it's worth losing some money in order to find happiness. Okay. What's gonna happen in this divorce? What's gonna happen in this divorce for Pisces? Gonna happen in this divorce. Okay. So the controlling person is going to fail and they're going to they're going to fail. They're not going to win, okay? The controlling person in this relationship is going to lose. And for you, hope for the future, hope and healing, the star, your wish card. And someone rushing in, new ideas, childlike fun. And then you're going to find someone who makes you feel like a child again. You're going to feel so beautiful and wonderful. Also, Pisces, another song I'm picking up for you is Too Good at Goodbyes by Sam Smith, I think it is. And it's like, every time you hurt me, the less that I cry. And every time you leave me, the quicker these tears dry. And every time you walk out, the less I love you. Baby, we don't stand a chance. It's sad, but it's true. I'm way too good at goodbyes. Anyways, you guys can listen to that song, but I'll read you the lyrics quick. I've actually had this song stuck in my head all day. So, yeah, this reading was meant to be. Um, I think that it means, you know, you're too good at goodbyes. I think it means, you know, goodbye to the karmic and the person who's trying to control you, Pisces. Okay, so it says, you must think that I'm stupid. You must think that I'm a fool. You must think that I'm new to this. 
but I have seen this all before. I'm never going to let you close to me, even though you mean the most to me, because every time I open up, it hurts. So I'm never going to get too close to you, even when I mean the most to you, in case you go and leave me in the dirt. But every time you hurt me, the less that I cry. And every time you leave me, the quicker these tears dry. And every time you walk out, the less I love you. Baby, we don't stand a chance. It's sad, but it's true. I'm way too good at goodbyes. I'm way too good at goodbyes. Okay, then it says, I know you're thinking I'm heartless. I know you're thinking I'm cold. I'm just protecting my innocence. I'm just protecting my soul. I'm never going to let you close to me, even though you mean the most to me. Okay, and that's the chorus. And no, 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 no. I'm way too good at goodbyes. Okay. And then it says chorus. And every time you walk out, the less I love you. Baby, we don't stand a chance. It's sad, but it's true. I'm way too good at goodbyes. All right, guys. So I feel like you want to say goodbye to this controlling person in your life. And um, this song is actually one that helped me through my own. Like when he would leave, I would listen to this song. And it's like I knew that every time he hurts me, the less I cry. You know, every time he leaves me, you know, the less it hurts, basically. The more bad things you do, the less it hurts me. The more times you leave me, the less I hurt. Until, you know, I just don't hurt anymore over you. So one of you needed to hear that, Pisces. Let's get your spirit messages and let you go. All right, so let's go ahead and get you a message from spirit real quick before this dies. Give us a message for Pisces. For January of 2021. But yeah, if you're afraid of them taking your kids or your money, they're going to lose. Don't worry. You're going to win. You have listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. Okay, so maybe you need to listen to me. <laughs> and my advice. If you're being abused and you're afraid of everyone knowing, would you rather let your children sit there and your son to think this is the way that you treat your wife or this is the way your wife can treat you or your daughter to think this is the way to treat my husband or this is the way I should let my husband treat me because that is what they are seeing from you, mama or daddy. And guess what? They're going to grow up and they're going to think this is okay. He hits me, so what? It's okay. Mom did it to dad and dad or dad did it to mom or whatever, you know. I can hit my wife because my kids did and watch your son end up in prison because his wife isn't as understanding as you are. Think about these things, all right? So we have heard and listened to your request in the past. So we're bringing this card to you because someone around you needs to be heard now. They're not seeking advice, but they really need to express themselves about how they're feeling and what's going on in their life. What they're seeking is an open, compassionate, non-judgmental listener. When you're intently engaged in conversation, there's an even energy exchange between both parties that can benefit. Those who are talking express what they're feeling and just by the process of talking, they will often solve the problem or issue by themselves. Being present and listening to someone who needs your full attention will, in some cases, bring you the answers that you've been seeking yourself. Okay, so definitely listen. I feel like listen to me. If this resonates with you, listen to me, do these things, you will get out. It's not a process of, I'm leaving and you go. No, when you're leaving an abusive relationship, it's not like that at all, okay? Unless they punch you, you know, and you can get the cops to come and arrest them. Then you can go down and get you a restraining order and temporary custody and all that. You can do that. But definitely, you know, it's a slow process. I'm sorry, it is. It is. 
Anyways, you be safe, okay? And I feel like your children need you to listen to them, to fully sit down, talk to them, and listen to them. Let them express how they feel. My children told me, Mom, I want you to divorce him. I want you to leave him. We hate him. Your children may feel the same way. They may. You never know, okay? So, Pisces, I'm wishing you all the best. Um, if this is your story and you need a reading, my Etsy is linked down below. If you want to buy one of my decks, also linked down below. If you want to um, like my Facebook page, that would be really awesome. But please like, subscribe, and share if you know someone being abused. Um, okay, guys, I love you so much. You have a beautiful, blessed month. And good luck with everything, Pisces. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I love you. Bye.